Hi, this is Mark. I want to show you a new resource part of the Cotton Library Catholic Theological College called Library of Catholic Thought. This is a resource with 54 different ebooks that you can access from our library homepage. So I'm just showing you the resource itself. Once you're in it, you can see that you can browse, you can search, or you can just scroll down the screen and see, and here you can see some of the major resources. The most important is the Jerome Biblical Commentary, which is a new commentary written for the 21st century, which uh, operates very much like other commentaries. It has each book of the Bible and a very set way of describing the relevant information. It's an important resource for any biblical studies papers, but most theology papers. Then the New American Bible, a totally searchable uh, work which includes some reference notes. And we also have ebooks, a timeline, and reference works. And it's searchable. You can see if you search, we're putting in Pelagius, just to look at that early heretic. And you can see it confirms my search term, shows you the ebooks that contain that term, and how many matches in each book. So it's brought it up by um, the listing of the, the most matches. So you can see different titles going down until you get to, for instance, um, an ebook here called uh, The Use and Abuse of the Bible and the chapter on, the, on Jerome. And you can, and we can actually read that chapter by just clicking on the link, and you can see within the context of the book where the word Pelagius appears. If I click on that link, you go into the text, and you can scroll down till you find that phrase. And here it's in a note, actually. And I can go forward to the next occurrence. There are other ways though that we can use this resource. So as well as by searching, we could browse the collections. And we just go back to Library of Catholic Thought. You can get a full list of titles, or we could go into the Jerome Biblical Commentary. Here it takes you to the front screen. Just notice on the right hand side, if you wanted to cite this, you're going to uh, quote something from it. You can click on the cite button, choose the format that you're most familiar with, perhaps Chicago, and then you can just copy and paste that, copy it to the clipboard, paste it into your assignment. And that's actually giving you a citation to the book itself. But if you were to, for instance, you were working on the Synoptic Gospels, you go to the section on Synoptic Gospels, And you can see within that section, you've got some further subheadings where you can look at the synoptic problem, for instance. And once you're there, or from the top anyway, you can click on citation. And you can see this time the citation is showing you that chapter or that section from the work in correct format. Copy that and you can use that in your assignment. You can see that you can sign in to, to create a personal account. Just to explain, your initial access is by using your Colin Library sign-in, and that gives you access to the resource. But if you do create your own personal sign-in, which is relatively easy to do, you can then save and save, save content and save searches. So it's just the normal format. You, you register, sign up, put in your email, it sends you a password. You can change that password if you want. And then you can save the signing in process to your browser. So here I'm signing in. If we imagine <clears throat> that I redo that search for Pelagius. Because I'm signed in, once I've done that search, I can save the search so that I can run it again without having to remember it. And it also gives me the option of sending an email alert 
if there's new material that appears. Click on save. And I can see my saved searches by clicking under my name, that down arrow to my content. And here we have uh, my saved searches, a search for wisdom, for Proverbs, for Pelagius. If I just rerun the search on uh, Proverbs and wisdom, you can see here we have the chapter from the Jerome Biblical Commentary for the 21st century called Proverbs. I click on that to move to that section. And then if I want, I could save that chapter as content. So I just click on the star to save the book of Proverbs and I can choose which folder to save it to. I'm going to chase it, save it to my wisdom folder, click on save. And then when I go back to my content, Instead of looking in save searches, I can look in my saved items and in the folder called wisdom, I've got a link to the book of Proverbs, which I've just saved. And that potentially gives you a quick way of going back to different content that might be helpful for you to look at. Chapters from ebooks or a section in the commentary such as this one. So the second question is, how do we get to some of these resources? I'm just going to show you from our library catalog. The first and easiest way to get to the resource is by going to library links, clicking on library Catholic thought, and you can see here it opens it up at that homepage that I started this tutorial with. A second way is to run a search. So here I'm looking for the compendium of, social, of the social doctrine of the church, and you can see it's a book that we have in print, but that book has been checked out. And so we've got a link here to the ebook. As you can see on the right hand side, view ebook would take us to the Library of Catholic Thought. I just click on the link, it opens it up. If I wasn't signed in already, it would prompt me to sign in with my Colon Library sign, up, sign in, and it takes you to the front of the book. And there, just as we had before, you can check on, you can scroll through, find the chapter you want, or you could do a search within the book for, say, human rights. And I can find the section that is most relevant for that topic. and it will jump you to the correct subsection. Okay, another approach, um, I just want to point out to, with that first search, when we looked up Compendium of the Social Doctrine of the Church, it actually found it under the record for the print book, so that you can see we do have the print book and we have a link to the ebook. This is another option where it's the feminine genesis of Catholic theology. And you can see we also have a print book available, but in this case, it's an ebook reference. So if you did uh, narrow your search to only ebooks, you would find this one, whereas you wouldn't find that first one. Okay, it's a pretty easy resource to use, and I encourage you to make the most use of it you can. And let me know if you have any problems. Thank you.